he diddy, Sean diddy, Combs, the diddler, whatever you want to call him, that situation around him, it has gotten so much worse. Because we are now seeing 120 people set to launch lawsuits against him alleging sexual abuse and assault. With these cases being revealed during a press conference yesterday. We will find the silent accomplices. We will expose the enablers who enabled this conduct behind closed doors. We will pursue this matter, no matter who the evidence implicates. Now this obviously follows a long string of lawsuits alleging similar claims against Diddy. It also comes as he was just charged and pleaded not guilty to sex trafficking and other crimes. But even amid all the bombshell accusations we've heard already, the claims coming from this new set of suits is fucking shocking. Right, of the 120 cases, attorney Tony Busby said that 25 came from people who were minors at the time of the alleged abuse, with the youngest victim being just nine years old at the time. And their allegations go back as far as the 90s and all the way up to this year, and they largely stem from parties that Diddy hosted as well as auditions. Right, and during the press conference, Busby said that many of the alleged victims reported their assault either to police or to a hospital, and some had toxicology reports that found that they had horse tranquilizers in their system. And even though all of these cases are being filed individually, Busby said that many of the accusations followed a similar pattern where victims were lured into a situation where they were given a drink that turned out to be laced, and saying that once the drug took effect, the victim would be sexually abused, often by multiple people and often as others watch. Now, these cases are gonna be filed in a handful of states, primarily New York and California and around the next 30 days. And in addition to sexual assault and abuse, the suits will also accuse Diddy of false imprisonment, sexual abuse of minors, among other forms of misconduct. Now for his part, Diddy is continuing to deny any wrongdoing with one of his attorneys saying in a statement, as Mr. Combs' legal team has emphasized, he cannot address every meritless allegation in what has become a reckless media circus. But adding that said, Mr. Combs emphatically and categorically denies as false and defamatory any claim that he sexually abused anyone, including minors. He looks forward to proving his innocence and vindicating himself in court where the truth will be established based on evidence, not speculation. And with all that said, while obviously a lot of people are paying attention because Diddy is at the center of this, this could just grow and grow because you had Busby saying in some of the suits, other perpetrators are gonna be named. And while he did not name names there, he did say that well-known people could be a part of these cases. I expect that through this process, many powerful people will be exposed. Many dirty secrets will be revealed, but the names that we're gonna name, assuming that our investigators confirm and corroborate what we've been told, or names that will shock you. You know, he is not the first person in recent days to suggest that public figures could come down as part of all the claims against Diddy. Because, for example, another lawyer representing one of his alleged victims said she was contacted about an explicit video featuring Diddy and another high profile person. With the lawyer saying she was contacted to represent someone in the sale of said video, which she declined, but regarding the contents of it, she told News Nation. There already have been tapes uh, leaking around Hollywood, being shopped around to individuals in Hollywood, but one particular person contacted me to shop a particular video they were in possession of and to contact the person who was in the video to see if they were interested in purchasing the video before it became a public knowledge. Uh, I've heard Mr. Combs was in the tape and this other person is I would venture to say more high profile than Mr. Combs. With her then adding that she has seen stills of the video and it is pornographic in nature, but it also doesn't look like this unnamed person was aware they were being filmed. Right, and all of this just fueling more and more speculation about who witnessed or enabled Diddy's behavior. You know, if any of these cases keep moving forward, it does seem like we could find out at some point down the line. But as far as where things stand for Diddy at this current moment, he is currently being held in the Metropolitan Detention Center in New York, but his lawyers filed an appeal this week seeking his release, or with the maiming to overturn a previous ruling that denied him bail, but we're gonna have to to wait to see what happens.